Hey, this is John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. I'm here in Nashville, Tennessee with Esme Patterson shortly before her show, pre-sound check. Esme, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, totally. So tell me about this very cool guitar. Uh, this is, her name's Cruella. Night, DeVille, nice. Because the white and black. Yeah. And I actually didn't own a guitar that cost more than a hundred bucks. Uh, and my manager was like, just gave me this guitar actually. He was like, please have a nice guitar. It's gonna sound much better. So I, I love this guitar and I play it all the time, but are you I a didn't Ronnie Wood, buy it. Are you a Ronnie Wood fan or was it yeah, just? Yeah, totally. Yeah, who isn't? I know, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so uh, have you done anything or just straight from your manager to you? Uh, well, I have a friend in Portland. I live in Portland, Oregon, and mm -hmm. he uh, is kind of a guitar wizard and he hooked it up to the Tesla meter and explained the magnetic force of it. And we've, we've kind of tricked it out a little bit here and there. Do you know any of the, uh, any of the secret mods or those? Uh, I can't, t if it's a secret mod, I can't tell you <laughs> yeah, about it. Yeah, of course, it. <laughs> of course. Uh, well, nonetheless, okay, so yeah. that, is that your number one? This is my, num this is my wifey. Yeah. And then I got my girlfriend. Oh, good. Well, let's look at this sporty <laughs> girlfriend. Then. Yeah, this is my my midlife crisis. No, sure, a little no, early. No, this is a, a, just a little $100 guitar that I bought in Portland at a great store called Trade Up Music. They have great stuff. And I just was recording my last record and got a really big, beefy twin Fender amp that I don't bring on tour because it's so heavy. Uh, but I got this little guitar to do some kind of additional lead guitar stuff on it. The Stratocasters are, are really fun. And yeah, cool. It, it pairs well with the Fender Twin, I feel like. Too. Yeah, absolutely. So, so yeah. do you grab this one when, <laughs> do you uh, work it into the set or just like it's when you break a, a string? It's, a, it's kind of a backup. Yeah. A just in case guitar. Right. So yeah. when you flail that one to death, that one's I did. Ready. Yeah. I went through a period of time where I was breaking a lot of strings because yeah. I was going through a breakup. So I was like, I got to have a guitar, extra right. guitar. I'm going to break some strings. Yeah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> okay. Very cool. Really? I like that a minimum setup. You've got yeah. this one, your number one, and your backup just yeah. in case. And Definitely. tell me about this uh, pedal board. Let's segue into that. Uh, this pedal board, I made this actually with my dad. It cost $2 to make. Nice. I went to one of those hardware thrift stores. And oh, got, great. Like, I think it's a piece of a cabinet or something. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, we just sawed it and... DIY'd it and I have a I have this uh, this one is from a really cool Portland company actually Portland Oregon company Catlin Bread makes awesome awesome pedals sure and, and I what, love that one what is that it's the bell it pockets like a delay a tape delay okay and I love that pedal and then this one we got actually went to the Earthquaker factory oh, in yeah. Akron Ohio and those guys are so rad <laughs> they let us take a tour and uh, I brought that pedal and all the guys in my band were like, oh man, that's like the coolest. So we, we all got to go back there and get those. Too. What is that? What does this it do? This one is, uh, it's a reverb, but it also does a, a non-oscillating delay, oh. non-self oscillating delay. So it doesn't do like the feedback loops. It's like you can play with the, de the delay and it doesn't create a feedback loop and self oscillate, which is really cool. And the tone's awesome. So do you just, um, do you kind of set it and forget it, or do you twist I've messed you, with it yeah. the whole show, yeah. Cool, fun. That's I feel like the different songs need different things, but sure. I'm working on getting better at doing it with my feet. <laughs> yeah, the tap dance, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then this is an overdrive I really like, uh, just when you need to be nastier. And sure. this is a cool tremolo that I really like also that oh, I cool. use here and there. Cool, everything yeah. you could hope for. You know, this does look a little... It's a little wobbly. A little it little needs a little wobbly. work. But uh, I made it myself. So. I like that. I like how high it is. Too. Yeah, it's, it's like, nice at angle, you know. Yeah. No, I love it. <laughs> that is very. That is very cool. That's pretty cool. And I like and the, the handles. And the handles, yes. Yeah. Okay. It's stylish and practical. Uh, right, right. Um, do you put it in a little <laughs> suitcase or? Yeah. Or, Go, yeah. Well, in a big suitcase, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. Great. Okay, that's easy enough. Two guitars, five pedals, self-made board. Let's get to amp land. Yeah. Uh, it's a Mesa Boogie. Uh, I got this at Guitar Center, actually, used, uh, cool. <laughs> which is not glamorous at all. But uh, 
I wanted an amp that had kind of like a richer, like more rock and roll thing because I put together a band of dudes that rocked really hard and I was like, man, I got to get a beefier amp. So right. this is a pretty great rock and roll amp. And something I like about it is that you can adjust the EQ yourself, like the frequencies. Like you can either do the uh, auto EQ or you can do it yourself so you can kind of like, if there are certain frequencies you want to cut out. Sure. It's kind of cool to have that. Yeah. I love, cool. I just like the tone of it. And do you run it fairly clean and then get the dirt from your overdrive or just a little I bit I do of most of the grit from the amp actually. I, I leave it on and I like to let it warm up and play it pretty loud. And yeah. So I, most of the grit comes from the amp actually. Oh, very cool. Very cool. So did you, do you record that as well? I haven't yet, but I plan to. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, hey, congratulations. Uh, enjoy your, uh, your tour, you. and uh, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much. It's John Bollinger. Till next time. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.